how would you describe theater camp to somebody who has never been before? It's this place, uh, which I think we really wanted to express in the movie, where kids who feel sort of like outliers in their normal lives or in their schools and their classes with kids who don't necessarily um, connect to a lot of their uh, obsession and go to a place where that's the thing that connects them and like that's the thing that um, makes them lovable and popular and, and, and feel like they can belong. Um, I always wanted to go, but I never got to. So now I did. <laughs> always talk about wanting to make projects with their friends and how did you guys actually make this happen and make this movie come together? It was birthed out of just wanting to, like you said, wanting to just make something together and being really inspired by people that came up together and and used the community around them and wrote for their friends and, and we made a short about five years ago and uh, stole some kids from Noah's um, high school and then for the last five years, I've just been trying to adapt it into something larger. And, um, you know, it's just hard to get something made. And then Noah and I worked with Jessica Elbaum on Booksmart. And so we brought this to her and she connected us with Picture Start. And then we got to make it, which was such a dream and bring in more of our greater community. And it just felt like this big uh, friend hang that was also really hard in 19 days and a crazy <laughs> thing. <laughs> Four of you are credited as screenwriters on this. How was the collaboration process on actually writing the script? A lot of the dialogue was improvised. We worked off uh, a, a sort of super detailed outline, but it was an opportunity. We always wanted it to be an opportunity for the actors, since three of them were writing it too, to really be able to like have their freedom on the day to, to find what was working and what was funny. And so, yeah, it, it, was, it, was, it was a long process, but it was like a really good one. We so. wrote a lot in my uh, uh, home in, in LA. And yeah, as Nick was saying, it was a lot about like controlled chaos, I think, for us and just giving people a really good framework in which to feel free and to, to find their characters, but with a lot of um, structure. Did you all like the opportunity to improvise on set? It was definitely a lot of fun, and it was definitely the shortest script I've ever read. <laughs> I mean, came in, it was like 60 pages, and I was like, how long is this movie going to be? <laughs> um, but it was, it was really cool to just have the opportunity to be collaborative like that and for them to just kind of trust um, in the actors. And there was actually certain points where I was like, can you actually write a little more here? <laughs> um, I feel like with improv, like it often can just kind of go off the rails. Um, but they did a great job of <clears throat> just like keeping it contained and keeping the story moving forward, even though the dialogue wasn't always set in stone. And they're so quick. Like I remember being on set and I was stuck for a second. I couldn't couldn't quite find my words, and I remember hearing Molly's voice being like, here's an alt, go! And it was like, whoa! And it, it was amazing. It was just such a collaborative process. It felt like sitting around like a table, just hanging and riffing and being with your friends. Ben, your character's name in the short was um, Angelo Bassett, but then it was changed <laughs> for the, the full-length feature. So can you talk a little bit about the naming process of the characters in the movie? Yeah, of course. Um. <laughs> Angelo Bassett was like sort of a, a passing joke as we were writing our short, and I think we really loved the idea that someone is just r just one one step away in the phone book. Um, so uh, in this film, I'm Amos Klobuchar. Thank you. <laughs> Jimmy, your character is described as a clueless crypto bro. Um, why do you think that they thought of you for this role? <laughs> I don't know. Why did you guys think of me for this crypto bro role? <laughs> well, we wrote it for Jimmy. Like, we always had him in mind. And because he brings such humanity to anything that he plays and can make, like, crazy heightened shit feel so grounded and real. And he's so heartfelt and amazing in the movie. Um, and, like, not a lot of people can do that with a bro character. And that's, like, such a fastball, a unique fastball that he has. But he's so much more in this movie, too. That's just, like, reducing it to the meanest way to say it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>